Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, yeah, let's talk about the nice weather that's going to continue on for the next couple of days. Boy, it's great out. We got temperatures in the upper 60s today. We'll see some low 70s coming in tomorrow, and uh, you know, the average is 48 degrees, so there you go. 54 on Wednesday, we get a cool down. Mid 40s on Thursday, back to reality for a little bit. And then uh, some warming, though, going into next weekend. We're not going to see a big, long, cold blast. So 51 on Friday, probably near 60 going into Saturday. All right, so satellite radar. Right now, we've got this big area of high pressure around. That's giving us beautiful weather for one more day. Tomorrow, though, we are going to tap into some more moisture. And so all these showers and I'll say it, even a few thunderstorms back to the west, some of those will be headed in our direction. Not as stormy as off to the west. They had some bad weather over there in the deep south yesterday and last night, but uh, today, or tomorrow rather, we'll just have uh, some showers with a few thunderstorms. At least that's how it looks at this time. Super Doppler 10, things all quiet in our region right now. We'll have quiet weather for today. Looking good. We've got partly sunny skies, a little bit of clouds out there now. They might break up for a bit and then come back towards the afternoon, but uh, still partly sunny up through 3 o'clock. Great weather. Here's 6 p.m. We have nice conditions out there for the evening commute. And then overnight, we're going to have more clouds and some isolated showers. Tomorrow morning, maybe a few showers already at 7 a.m. They're going to pick up through the mid morning and through the midday hours. So here we see a big line. That's that cold front. So this is at noon. It passes through in the early afternoon. Before that happens, we're going to warm up. Highs in the 70s. And then temperatures will start dropping later in the afternoon. Behind the front, we'll start drying things out by the evening time. And uh, 8 o'clock, we're already mostly clear. So right now we're already very warm. We're at 51 in Newport News, in Norfolk, 50 in Portsmouth, 51 in Virginia Beach. These are current readings, but then we got some cooler spots inland. Uh, Hosky, I saw temperatures in the upper 30s. We're in the low 40s in Chesapeake, upper 40s in Suffolk, 50 in Hampton, and 48 in Williamsburg. And I think it's because we got a little clearing in some places. That's uh, allowed the temperature to drop more. So at, at, for today, winds out of the south 5 to 10. You got high pressure, low humidity, sunset time 5 19 p.m. So there you go. Uh, expecting that sun to be, you know, setting a little bit later now. So uh, that's nice. Now here's 68 today for a high in Nags Head. Get out and enjoy that weather if you can. You got winds out of the south 5 to 10. Sep I think it was that a song. 70 degrees in Elizabeth City, 73 in Edenton, and 73 in Ahoski. We got upper 60s in Virginia Beach, 68, 69 in Norfolk, Portsmouth, 69 Suffolk, and then low 70s in Chesapeake, near 70 in Franklin. And we're at 67 for Yorktown, Pecos, and Hampton, 69 in Newport News, 73 degrees in Williamsburg. Beautiful day, partly cloudy skies. And on the eastern shore, even, we'll see mid to upper 60s, low to mid 60s, rather. Uh, Cape Charles and Chincoteague, I think you'll have the influence of some of that water. And then 67 in Gloucester, 66 in Irvington. Tomorrow, highs in the low 70s. We'll see some scattered showers, a couple of isolated thunderstorms possible in the afternoon. And then Wednesday, Thursday, temperatures falling, 50s on Wednesday, 45 for a high on Thursday. But then warming trend into the weekend. By the time we hit Saturday, we're sitting at 60 degrees.